Thank you for the professor Pong's introduction. Uh, first of all, I want to thank the committee to organize such a good meeting. Uh, uh, we are very honored to be here to share our experience and also we can learn from our expert from German and also from our Institute of National Taiwan University Hospital. So today I'm going to uh, share about our experience regarding this campaign. Uh, we start uh, the first uh, clinical phase two trial since uh, 2017 uh, in the middle. Uh, so we have our first PSMA PCD scan uh, in the middle of 2017. And also we have our first PSMA scan uh, in the next month. So this trial was complete uh, in the last year, uh, in December. Uh, we complete our case in Roman. And uh, very good news from this sample, we get a TAPD approval uh, for possible clinical location of his medicine. And in this trial, uh, we are going to another, uh, initiate another clinical trial to evaluate the antigen preparation cell in the back by using the his medicine scan. So, uh, in the next slide, I'm going to share, uh, also present some data from our previous uh, slide. Uh, as you can see here, uh, first of all, we, we have 57 cases of uh, uh, recurrent prostate cancers uh, during the case case. So we had a head to head comparison to the multi parameter MRI in this patient group. Uh, in these 57 cases, we still uh, this level less than 0.2, and three cases uh, without diagnosis multi parameter MRI image. And five cases uh, didn't have a uh, radical plasmidium. So finally, we have 47 cases going to analysis. So from this flow chart, you can see the patient distribution. Uh, basically, there are 29 patients that can code and positive and negative findings. Two patients uh, is can code and and MRI findings. And there are five cases uh, with can code uh, findings at the issue of regions uh, is exposed in. Uh, detect by PSMA and only RHMA. And uh, we are 11 cases with school writing by each image of us. And so, sorry for this video. And let's take a look at the total region detected by these two different uh, image models. The total region on the detail is not uh, very, uh, it's, it's not very different. But uh, when you take a look on the distribution of the region that we have, you can find out uh, the only population like it had more local returns region, and it seems that it had, it had more <coughs> distant from regions. So let's do a patient-based analysis. Uh, I want to emphasize here we use a, a reference standard by tumor board consensus because it's very hard for every region and from every patient to get a tissue group. So this is a cost anyway, it's uh, based on the tumor board consensus. So uh, uh, we do a, a, a in top analysis, there's a not much more difference uh, regarding the image implementations. But as you can see, the, it seems like the MI has more local regions, and PET has more nodal and distal regions. So we do a test comparison, it seems like the PET have a significant, more, uh, more significant sensitivity regarding the distant bone region detect. Uh, so in the next slide, I'm going to show a uh, case from our uh, case corpus. Uh, as you can see, there's a local uh, heart disease uptake at the last homosis site. This is the view is an MPCD. So when you take a, when you compare this image to the contrast in CD and contrast in MPMA, uh, we can reach a, a, a consensus that this could be a local return regions, uh, just near the left in a small extent. But this is the case is a very straightforward. Uh, from uh, our institute uh, experience, as you can see from this paper, uh, they try to develop a standardized image implementation from seven international institutes. Uh, the case just like uh, I present uh, in the next, in the previous slide, there's also a focal heart pain in the uh, prostate uh, uh, Whether this patient has a return vision or not, 
still didn't reach a consensus based on this paper. As you can see, there are seven experts, uh, three types of people, and four experts uh, since this still can be, this is an uncertain issue. Uh, still can reach a conclusion whether this is a human recurrent or not. So that's why uh, we would suggest a displayer for patients to put a body cassation during our uh, image exam because sometimes it may help to refresh the urine radio activity or the real tumor local uh, recurrence region. And this case uh, is also our, one of our cases. You can see there's a hard uh, update on the right here also. And when you make a comparison to the T2 MI image and diffusion rate image, you can see the lymph node size, the short diameter lymph node size is uh, only 4 millimeters even if it has such a high piece of content. So from the uh, paper published before just uh, another moon also showed um, this slide, uh, the detection rate is around 90%, can reach 90% detection rate when the lymph node show diameters of 4.5 millimeter. Uh, it's still better than uh, all the conventional which we can we can we can get right now because we usually have to base uh, size criteria like eight or eight millimeter or ten millimeter to decide whether this is a metastasis or not. Okay, so this case is a uh, have a bone makeup on the T12 side. As you can see on the bone scan, CT scan, uh, there's a nice pathological findings. Uh, on the PSMA pad, there's a very hard content on the T12 side. But when you compare it to a T1 bone MRI, there's only a subtle low intensity bone nugget on this one. So this is still very hard for radiology to uh, decide whether this is a bone made out or not. So actually, uh, based on our uh, prospective study uh, published before, uh, we started comparing three inch bone out, uh, include PSMA pad on head and diffusion rate MR. As you can see, the result that shows uh, the diffusion rate MRI, the sensitive and the bar, big, big positive value of diffusion MRI is significantly lower than these two on uh, these two head modality. But not much uh, not significant difference between this and head and bone head. So this is uh, also the same uh, it's also uh, just consistent to how we observe in our patient cohort the PSMA since it's more sensitive uh, than the uh, multi-parameter MRI. So um, from the three cases I show, uh, how we learn from our patients. Our patients. First, uh, for local region near anastomosis, PSMA may be influenced by strong urine radio activity. So the multi-parameter MRI is more sensitive and sometimes can help to define whether there's a true local recurrence. And for small lymph node metastasis, PSMA is outperformed without size by female limitation as is used in morphological image. And for distant bone metastasis, PSMA is more superior than on the parametric MR, not only by the sensitive, but also by the scan range, because PSMA covering the whole body. And from our patient cohort, uh, we found out that PSMA is quite safe and without ghosting side effects. Okay, uh, in another section, I would like to share a case with uh, the audience. Uh, this is a, a topic that uh, we have to always question. Although this called PSMA process is every energy pack, but it's truly process specific. As we know, it's the enzyme coded by the folic hydrogen swan. Uh, gene and hormone eleven. We also have many different nets, uh, different nets such as polyhydrogen, dehydrogenase, glutamate, carboxy, peptide two, and etc. So it have, it has multi function as an enzyme, several component, and involving several biological processes. So sometimes it is not so significant as we think. Just like the case I show here, uh, this is a case uh, we see. Hey, uh, we see PSMA KCD as a staging purpose. Uh, but this patient have a, a colon cancer history default. So from the PET, uh, PSMA, you can buy three hotspots. The first one is uh, at the prostate, 
uh, the other one is up in the right here, and uh, the zero one is on the left, on the left field. So we have an empty shoot for him. So as you can see, there's a two half on the uh, One is in the cross, and the other one is in the left. So all of these two kinds, uh, these two pen scan, uh, all have a uh, positive kind of the cross. Uh, as you can see, the distribution uh, pattern is quite different. As you can see, the PSMF is located mainly on the central plane, and the FDG is mainly located on the peripheral. So, so when, you, when we call something, uh, when we take the comparison to the diffusion range, you can see the water diffusion range is mainly local on the central plane. So, probably the PSMF is the the two indicate the two pure regions. So, what's your uh, opinion or diagnosis for this patient? Is any for the uh, anyone can uh, want to share his or her opinion on your list? Is that a question? It's a question. Here you can just express really to uh, so what, what, will, what will be your diagnosis to this patient? This is really our case. Though, yeah. <laughs> so the lung lesion, the solitary lung lesion of that size is, I would not sus suspect it to be prostate cancer lesion. I think the distribution pattern does not fit. And the hepatic lesion, I, I mean, and also if the gene is not a good choice for prostate cancer as normally. Uh, in the prostate, there is also a paper by um, Sweden, I think, uh, evaluating FDG had the bladder cancer, and they looked then also at the prostates. And they found that FDG uptake of the prostate is very unspecific. So uh, the PSMA had uptake in the prostate, I think, is, is cancer, prostate yes. cancer. The FDG uptake in the prostate, I think, is just normal. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and the panic I have. But I don't think it's possible. Okay. So, okay. Uh, here's the answer. Uh, <laughs> this patient do the positive acid and also lung effectomy. So, for the IG scan, you can see that the patient, the PSMA, uh, the positive tissue is PSMA positive uh, on the immunal IG scan, and uh, then, uh, uh, the lung tissue is PDA1 positive and PSMA negative. So, this patient truly have three. Cancer. Oh, just as I mentioned, he had a colon cancer, which we know. And now he had a prostate cancer and also a heart cancer. Oh, liver. Liver. Yeah, that's the part I want to mention. However, uh, when we look into the contrast in our image, uh, you can see the left dealing is a liquid in his own region, considered to be a bone metastasis from the Previous common cases. Uh, this lesion is both PSMF negative and FDG negative. So we still can conclude that uh, the leverage is uh, metastatic from the prostate or from the lung, or is uh, another uh, for the false cancer for this patient. Yeah, it's a very interesting case uh, in our patient. Okay. Thank you. Uh, 这个真是的呃，呃，你讲。